Kaf Met Fika. What is what if the both plates are moving away from each other? Uh, volcanoes. It, this is this is two plates moving away from each other, and we get there is volcanic activity all along here, right? Mid Atlantic Ridge, right? This is basically new earth being created right and here let's did we say we we're gonna map <laughs> conflicts so we're talking geology awesome awesome so check this out check this out map view side view here's map uh top view oh sorry top view top view view and side view or profiles let's call it side view side view okay here's mid-atlantic ridge we're going to draw the mid-atlantic ridge mid-atlantic ridge is how we're going to draw this right america over here way over here africa way over there right so let's put those on here africa africa america and I say America because it's not just the U.S. It's South America, North America, Central America, right? So Africa, sorry, you can't read that. America, plate, here's the convection currents of the mantle. And the crust is very thin, right? Very, very thin, right? Like if you consider the Earth, right? The Earth crust is smoother than an apple crust okay so all these mountains everest and stuff you see if you really compare it do a comparison shrink it down to a size of an apple it's smoother than your typical apple that you pick up from the store right just keep that in mind that's how thin the crust is right so convection currents coming up here and what happens there's a split here right it's like this right so magma comes up and continues to push these things away from each other so new earth is being created here right new earth is coming up volcanic activity ground being created and doing a split right from the top if you let's say here's the ridge right here's the ridge let's say this is the volcanic activity new crust is being formed what's one of the one of the things uh what's one of the evidences that we have about new crust being formed is linked up with us knowing realizing that the magnetic field of the earth flips right poof, poof, from the north to the south right and magnetic field of the earth flipping is huge 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 gigantic enormous right because magnetic field of the earth protects us from solar radiation right from space right? it keeps everything in it's a shield right magnetic shield right aurora borealis and stuff like this right so what I, the way we know this is this when magma comes up right it's and when it's underground it's called magma when it comes up top it's called lava right and it's liquid and it has ions in it right charges charged minerals right something that is in, that is charged when it's put on their magnetic uh, field it lines up according to the magnetic field right so when the earth magnetic field let's say in north is pointing up doink, when north is pointing up the new magma the minerals if you look at them they line up this way the north that way and south this way we know that the earth's magnetic field flips is because these are called striations if you go over a certain amount of distance right and look at continue looking at the minerals all of a sudden the minerals in a certain strip along the earth's uh, oceanic crust line up in the other direction they're saying north is down what north is down what the f is going on and then you keep on going north is up and then north is down and then north is up right and then north is down whoop, whoop, whoop. goes like this so all along here we see the minerals 
in the crust of the ocean pointing in different directions, right? Okay. This is crazy cool. And I learned about this. I learned, you know, we learned about this in school and stuff like this. But here's a story that the same teacher that I had that flew from Vancouver to Japan to be in an earthquake. Here's what he told us. He was studying at university in the 1960s. He said he was sitting in uh, his class, right? He was sitting in his class at university and the professor came in and said, okay, everyone's got their textbooks. He goes, goes yeah, everyone pulled out. Their, he goes, pull out your textbook. He goes, okay, pull out the textbook. This is in the 1960s, right? And he goes, okay, go, go to chapter whatever, five and all the way to chapter seven. And everyone went chapter five to chapter seven. Right? And he goes, tear them out. They're like, what? He goes, tear that, those pages out, tear them out. Everyone's like, what? What do you mean? Why tear them out? This is this is what happened in the 1960s, right? So when when certain so-called scientists, so certain people, um, this is by the way, uh, vitamins uh, the, the thing in there. Certain people come and say, Rod Rodriguez one. Thank you very much for the follow. -up. When certain people right uh low iq people some of them scientists come out and say the science is settled the science is never settled never settled right so this professor came in in 1960s to my teacher in the 1980s right 20 years later he was teaching this stuff came in and said tear those pages out and this is the reason right because during world war ii okay I believe it was American submarines when they were transversing the Atlantic, when they were going across the Atlantic, I'm pretty sure other countries did this as well. They used to carry uh, uh, sort of metal detectors, magnetometers, right? In the submarines, right? And when they were trans, when they were going across the ocean floor or a little bit above it, they were measuring magnetism because they're looking for things right maybe other submarines right? <laughs> bad ones or good ones or allies or whatever so all of a sudden they were mapping out the atlantic going back and forward right because the war is here and submarines are here so americans were doing this a lot right a lot of submarines wee, 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 wee. they were creating all this data right and what happens back then anyway uh, there was a 25 year no releasing of information okay gag order on anything related to the war uh, in the United States that's what the rules said right I'm going by memory gang so look into all this stuff right so there was 25 years of silence everything top secret nothing being released right so 1960s right mid 1960s go back 25 years you're in 1940 right 1940 1945 right around that period all of a sudden all this data came available right so if you're an earth scientist geologist geophysicist geophysicist would have looked at this like drooling right they looked at all this data and went oh my gosh right we make this friendly child friend oh my gosh the earth magnetic field flips why is it flipping oh my gosh all those people that said hey wow look at the coincidence the coincidences africa sort of fits nicely as a puzzle with america right well, i wonder what and then there's other places that sort of fit well together wow what coincidences right in the 1960s, they found out, oh, wow, there's something called the Mid-Atlantic Trade. Plate tectonics came into existence, the theory of it, right? And magnetic Earth's magnetic field flipping. Link that up with paleontology. You get major extinction events when Earth's magnetic field flips. You understand earthquakes better. You, all of a sudden, the door was opened, right? Wow, we learned so much about the Earth just because, just because of the data that was released right that was collected during world war ii by let's say the allies right 
And once that information was released, our whole understanding of planet Earth completely shifted. Brilliant. Right? Brilliant. Right? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. 